Hey guys, it's Face and Face Gaming here. I hope you're well. Got another matchup for you on Total War Warhammer 2. Um, I'm playing Crooked Moon uh, against my brother, Crocs Socks, Crocs and Socks, who's playing Dark Elves. My normal army comp, um, the normal one I take recently with the shame on the two big bosses on wolves, the war bosses on a giant cave squig. Um, one normal fanatic, and then the unit ones, um, Warlord Boys and the 8 big loonies. The Moon Howlers, Dirkit Squigs, and a normal squig unit. Um, the Moon Howlers. Um, the Teeth Robber Chariot Unit, Goblin Chariot Unit, two sets of Squig Herds, two Trolls, the Hammer of Gork, uh, and a Giant. Uh, Crox has taken Crone Hellebron, um, a Death Hag, three Dreadsbeards, four Dreadsbeards, four Witch Elves. He absolutely loves Witch Elves. Witch Elves. Um, four, um, sorry, three Shades and two sets of Harpies. Um, I'll run through very quickly just show kind of some position. I did hide a couple of units around, but it's, yeah, my usual kind of setup flanking setup um it's a good match it's, it's quite a quick game he gets into uh, a bit of a sticky situation kind of gets caught out in a uh, in a bit of a goblin mosh pit as i like to call it kind of fanatics in the front squigs in the rear um yeah not ideal um good fight though and and, and some some lessons learned i think on both fronts slow it down very very quickly so my position is pretty much straightforward for anyone that watches any of my other videos um two trolls kind of um just supporting my um i have my hammer of gork and my giant squigs tucked away in the hedge so you can't in the hedge in the uh in the trees so you can't see them i push my fanatics slightly to the um to the right a bit more i was thinking they potentially be dark riders and, and flanking things coming through um and kind of um, i do like to offset my infantry from my catapult and stuff because i think a lot of players will see knowing that the um crooked moon fanatics are stalker and invisible until you get close are going to assume that they are like where well, my cursor is going to here 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 and here so offsetting them i find you can roll people's flanks even harder than than they're, than they're expecting you to do they're expecting kind of a straight line fight where he would have been where he's going to be flogging witch elves straight straight at my front line to try and butcher those little goblins but if they're not there to butcher, he's going to find himself sounding off against trolls and squigs pretty quickly. Um, he's just gone for a straight up um, a spear, spears in the flanks of his witch elves. He's gone two tone as well, so two separate fronts. Red spears in the woods here. He shades a mast here with um, the death hag to support them. And then, yeah, Chrome is actually on a horse supporting these witch elves, hoping to uh, catch the fanatics in the middle, I'd imagine. Um, spears in the flanks, obviously, knowing he's played me past in the played me in the past against the um, Crooked Moon. I've got my wolves out in the flanks here. And my squigs are tucked away up here in the trees, um, waiting for the um, the kind of right moment to uh, to come out. Um, so I, I press the place you can uh, see what's going on. From the very offset then, these, um, these witch elves, they're very, very susceptible to, um, to ranged to range fire. They've got very, very low armor, no shield, obviously. And... Um, against these, these are just the Moon Howlers and the Teeth Robbers, um, who don't do a hell of a lot of damage, but against units without any armor, very, very quickly, you'll see those starting to just slowly, slowly replace their dead numbers in the flanks there. And um, it's costly, especially with um, switch ups, quite expensive. And every, for every unit you get into, um, into melee, they'll do kind of double the damage. But that's a hefty group of dead witch elves for kind of 11 to 12 seconds worth of of thinking of what he was going to do. Um, over here we've got um, the shades have popped out. Um, probably not expecting to have uh, bumped into my full, full kind of um, go out of goblins or full kind of front line of goblins who, as I was saying, were kind of offset from the middle. So they get a big boss straight into them because I'm you know, quite confident and I want to pin them down. They get another big boss in there and then all of them, this is an itchy nuisance going off as well. And then, yeah goblins uh, just wail, just come in on them, knowing that they're an expensive unit that I want to pin down, but I don't really have any other answer to at the moment. I do stupidly let a unit of these dread spheres not, not join in the combat. I should use the other one to join them, and they do get around and get in the back of my goblins, which isn't exactly the best in what I wanted. Um, I think in realising that that's where my front line's going to be, it's all a bit too late. My trolls have already come up and caught this set of 
Um, witch elves here and trolls on witch elves, yeah, they're not going to last two minutes and they're going to get absolutely floored. Um, these trolls get caught in with witch elves as well, but that is exactly the fight they want. Um, he does hold a couple of them back here um, for for whatever reason, but these guys doing what they do best, just harassing. And if you look, they pretty much decimate a whole group of uh, a whole group of these witch elves just for for nothing. So the teeth robbers are on 23 kills. These guys are on 50 kills. That, that's crazy for such cheap, cheap infantry. Squigs into some spears, into some witch elves. Wild pop in as well. I know squigs on spears. Probably not the ideal fight they'd want to be in. But to me, I use these as just... Um, they're just fodder. They do such good damage. They rampage. You just let them do, do their thing. And they'll, eat, they'll literally eat those, eat those spears, even though they're kind of um, anti-large. Um, seeing these... Um, Seeing these uh, shades caught out here by my by my offset fanatics, the squigs just see a, an opportunity to just get in and get the back of here. And this is what I call kind of a goblin mosh pit. Squigs at the back, fanatics in the front. Wild going. These guys nowhere to go. No, no chance. Just a waiting game really until they've made so many losses that the morale crumble. The one thing, obviously, these are just fanatics. They're not supported by trolls. They're, squigs in there with them apart from the riders um, and shades can hold their own in combat pretty well obviously crone hellebron setting off her um, the um the potion she's got the thing that makes everyone rampage and fight harder but, yeah that's that's not going to be enough to uh, save them from that encounter and as you'll see the shades sorry the death hag is there the shades already um Shades of dual weapons already on the way out. These witch elves are in there already gone. The harpies that joined combat moments ago already absolutely butchered. Uh, the spears that I let flank me, yeah, they did pretty well, but uh, all just the damage is literally just being done there. And, and yeah, that, that's that's the end. And what have I? I've lost half a set of squigs. We've got 80 kills. Some good kills on my goblins. 120 kills on those goblin squigs. Granted, they're absolutely decimated, but if you look around now, I've still got a full set of trolls. My giant hasn't even touched a single thing. Um, the wolves have come in here, finished off the, the witch elves as well as my trolls. And yeah, these squigs still in combat with these with these dread spheres, but just held up all day. And a um, bit of a costly mistake there, letting those guys get caught out by um, by my front line. But yeah, maybe if you weren't expecting it, then. You, you weren't expecting it and definitely weren't expecting the um the squigs from behind but look at these witch elves man the ones that did make it into um into combat with my night goblin fanatics 81 kills if you could you know, if you were expecting to get that across the board in a frontline fight then that probably match would have been probably a little bit a little bit different but you know, some of them just met archers some of them met trolls along the way and yeah they just did no good unless you can get them into um into uh into into an infantry fight Red spears, yeah, no, no chance. These guys getting some decent kills, but um, yeah, not, not enough to sway. Um, Crone Halibron, yeah, 37. The Death Hag getting some kills, but once you've lost your three shades to kind of less than 30 kills each, yeah, that's it's just good night, Vienna. Um, from our side, the Squigs getting some really good kills. The Trolls obviously decimating those units of Witch Elves. The Morgs Mangy Marauders getting 86 kills on Witch Elves for not losing a single unit. Is, is absolutely amazing. The Moon Howlers finally finding the um, the Witch Howlers, which is um, Witch Elves at the end, getting some good kills. The um, standard Squig Hoppers, like 82, uh, sorry, 123 kills on the standard and 82 kills on the um, on the unique units. That's that's some good kills. They can only been, have been in combat for maybe two to three minutes with the Warg popped in a, in a flanking kind of charge. That's power, do you know what I mean? That's um, to take off expensive units from the field like that. It's, it's it's pretty impressive. That was straight in the back of Shades as well, you know. So, um, some of my Night Goblin Fanatics getting getting good kills as well, like that. They're actually decimated, but pretty sure the um, they'll fight to the end. So, um, overall, yeah, uh, pretty impressive that fight. Just very unlucky to get those Shades caught, and um, yeah, the use of not of offsetting your front line away from kind of where they expect it is, um, absolutely brilliant. Just cost him all his Witch Elves, really. Um, as you can see, they that could have been a much nastier. Uh, nasty engagement had that been witch elves on on fanatics being dragged out dragged out a lot longer uh, gg you enjoyed that fight um nice to see the um 
the offsetting of the front lines working really, really well. Going to continue to um, to do that as Crooked Moon. But guys, if you like the video, you like to see a little bit more, then yeah, please um, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, check out the channel. There's quite a lot of um, multiplayer battles on there, um, varying kind of factions. A lot of Crooked Moon if you're into Crooked Moon. Uh, until the next one, guys, I'll uh, I'll catch you again. Cheers.